Shit. What an angle, huh? I guess it's actually a pretty good angle once I go back. Hey, it's Big Daddy. Moving forward. Staying positive. You know, last night we got attacked. Oh, yay. They got me. Quite comical, these trolls. But, uh, yeah. Had we not been invaded and hacked and taken over and had people being put back on to just do whatever the hell it is that they're doing, I'd have been doing this little ditty and then been off last night's little live. But, uh, hey, you got to do what you got to do. Keep smiling. Keep staying positive. I'm still standing. It's all good. Anyway, as promised, we'll see if I can muddle through this. It's kind of... It's Neil Young, and this is the first song ever that I learned to get through all the parts. And I'm not going to bore you with the whole song until I know all the words. That's the final goal. But I got all the chords down. So I'm going to muddle through them, mistakes and all, if I have any. Because I can actually play this without mistakes. But um, now I'm kind of like focusing on just sharing something with people. And uh, yeah. A little stage fright, but whatever. You muddle through. So so here it is. Uh, the chords to Old Man Neil Young. Neil Young, you rock. I'm a big fan. And uh, for whatever it's worth to anybody, this is the first song ever that I learned every chord to. Um, took about took about a week. Here we go. all the chords. Now we just gotta just get the lyrics down and anybody who wants to, you know, endure that can endure that. Hey, it's Big Daddy. We got some plans to handle the trolls, the children, the 20, 30, 40, and sadly 50-something children that are out to beat the crap out of Big Daddy. Gotta ask yourself, why they come and attack me? I kind of ignored them, moved on. I understand they're pissed. I understand I've pissed them off. I've pissed off a few people in life. <clears throat> pissed off a lot of people even worse than these guys. But they seem to be extra sensitive. And they've amped it up to calling me, pranking, trying to get me on going some damn local yokel bullshit. And uh, they're just spreading all kinds of hate and lies. Uh, like I always say, I'm not no angel. I've made mistakes. I've kind of learned from them. And for the past month, I've been trying to move on. But they don't seem to want to let that happen. So this is going to be the last time you're going to hear of that, too. I've kind of pressed it on to Facebook uh, authorities. And first time ever, I've, um, I've banned people for months. Had to. Some people are just out of their goddamn minds. But um, I've passed these late, late, latest... Um, you know, the, the the attack last night was just over the top. And then I have a lot of friends, thank you, who are sending me text messages. Some told me I could even share them. Screenshots. People like Bag of Donuts who are getting with people after I make a any kind of statement. She either thinks it's about her or it is actually about her. 
but she's going right to anybody who just defends me with uh, on and on about how she's right and I'm wrong. She also made a statement that she got caught in. She said that I couldn't, um, you know, that people couldn't be banned from pages. You guys know how I go on and on about groups and pages and Facebook groups and pages. And, well, she, um, she doesn't like to be wrong, ever. Never does Bag of Donuts like to be wrong, but she actually got caught in this when she's wrong. You can, in fact, ban people. I did, in fact, ban her a day after she flipped and lost it on me. And uh, with good reasons. Um, I also was sincerely concerned for her. She's making mention that I wasn't, but I really was. There was no other ill intent in anything when I reached out to a friend of hers, the guy that I had met. The only person I knew, really. But she can spin, you know, she she missed her calling as a, as a politician. She could spin anything I say um, into something to fit her negative narrative. And her agenda, which I think was literally to pull the show down. I think she's part of a group, the kind of group that she's in right now. That's what they do. They're part of trolling groups called the Couch People. They're negative people. Um, granted, I may have pissed them off, but I don't understand how I could have pissed anybody off, especially Bag of Donuts in one day to make her flip like this. I think what happened is I caught her in a lie. She lost it, made a big misstep, and then it was like 2020 vision all of a sudden. Plus, I had a lot of people telling me, too, like, watch out for this one, watch out for that one. Anyway, Big Daddy Roadshow is not a fun, easy ride every day, and it's maybe not for everybody. Hell, it might not be for you. Um, but anybody saying, like, I'm trying to continue on the drama, no, this is it. I ignored it for weeks. They attacked me last night. I'm defending. I'm in defense mode. But now all my defense mode is just going to go into a little file. It's going to be passed on to authorities. And if anybody's hurt, it won't be by me. If anybody's threatened, uh, please report it to Facebook. If anybody's being threatened on telephones, report it to your local authorities. Because at this point, it's just it's beyond uh, childish. It's uh, slanderous, hurtful, demeaning, vile. Um, fill in the words. Look them up in a thesaurus. These people enjoy being negative. And they drug me into places I didn't want to be drug. I went happily with some of them. Some things I went into and felt very uncomfortable, I made it clear. Anytime I tried to make a change back to the way I wanted it, I got complete resistance from this crew. And that's all I got to say about that right now. But uh, sadly, now I got to make some moves. And um, I hope they just stop. To be honest with you, I hope it just stops. I don't know that they're capable. But I hope they really think it through. But maybe when letters come in the mail... Or people knock on their door, not me, but authorities, maybe then. I don't know what it takes. Maybe some people just can't stop. Maybe they, you know, they're neurotic and they got real problems that they haven't sorted out and they're just projecting them on me. I have no idea. But I'm trying to run a show. I'm, I'm not labeled disabled, but trust me, I'm disabled. I've been telling some friends I, I fixed the fence for the dogs. They got into the neighbor's yard yesterday. A 10-minute job. And it's now, what, 7 o'clock? And I've been laying flat all day. Finally, decided, I know people say I say I take drugs and I don't, but I don't take the pharmaceuticals or drugs. I've smoked herb once in a while. Yes, I have. That doesn't help back pain, by the way. But, again, they're out to, they're out to damage. They're out to harm. And um, this is my official, well, I told you guys I was working on Neil Young's song. I didn't get to play it because of the big hack attack job last night. I still don't know how the hell they got in my account. But, um, yeah, once again, people are banned. Passwords are changed. Maybe she had my password. Maybe I even neglected. And get, I don't think I would have given out a password even to one of my admin. But uh, somehow, or it's possible I didn't delete her. But regardless, I could show with paperwork from Facebook, and they have, like, different... Uh, Different features on Facebook where we can show who was making posts. And it even says Joan underneath all those malicious posts. But just know that this is how they get a rise. She got a thrill with that all the time. If she can get a rise out of me on the show. And once I started to shut them down from getting a rise out of me on the show. Well, that just didn't fit their narrative anymore. So off they are on some kind of local something or other. Where, yeah, they don't beat me up all the time. 
or they're passive aggressive with their statements. But if that's what you're digging, if that's what you're into, and a lot of people are today, a lot of people like negative talk show or reality show drama, that's not for me. And that's not what I want. I'm going to continue on doing my interviews with professionals. I have a plan. It's going to be drastic. It's going to be drastic. But I have a plan. And I'll be able to do my shows just fine and muddle on. And God willing, hopefully I can turn this into something so I can just make a few bucks, you know, because there ain't too many people hiring people that can't stand on their feet all day or can't uh, load a dishwasher one day and then, you know, the next day I can load the whole dishwasher. It's crazy this back. But I'm getting really tired and I'm in defense mode for the final time. Like I said, I'm pushing it on to authorities. Let them handle it. This is the Big Daddy Roadshow. This was my first attempt at showing you guys I got all the cords down to Neil Young. And it's actually kind of cool because it's the first song ever I totally learned after a week's practice, chord for chord. Um, like I said, we're not perfect. But then again, you know, I'm not any bad Helen and ain't claiming to be. It's Big Daddy. I'll catch you guys later. Here's a couple more chords and I'm out. Stay positive. Don't let the negative trolls get to you. They're not getting to me. Some of their lies are vicious and slanderous, but they're not true. Half true, some of them too. But really bad, nasty stuff talking about kids. And no, bag of donuts, I'm not saying you're talking about kids, but people in your nasty little crew are. Threats to friends all over the country. Threats to me. Well, they want to visit me at the grocery store. Please. Kids, time to grow up. It's time to really grow up. I'm just an old man with a bad back trying to make something happen. And you guys are trying to fuck with it. Maybe as well. Maybe as won't. Either way, I'll stay positive and move forward. Thanks. This is the Big Daddy Road Show. We'll be back with a new plan very few days from now. It's going to be a good one, too. Stay good and do good out there. Peace. <laughs>